So there are going to be a lot of eyes on the Crimson Tide football team this season, and for good reason. The Crimson Tide not only return a ton of production, but two of the top players in all of the country in Bryce Young and Will Anderson. But today, we need to talk about something that Alabama lost, a physical presence on the interior of that defensive line in Federian Mathis, and we need to talk about how Alabama can replace that presence. But before we do, as always, yawn of the drill, I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, Y for yes, N for no. Do you believe Byron Young is poised for a big year this year for the Crimson Tide? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy that content, like and comment down below. Those interactions may seem small, but they are really massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all of that being said, we need to talk about this because Federian Mathis provided a lot of production for the Crimson Tide. He had 53 tackles and nine sacks from the interior. And though those numbers are impressive, it's what it means for the defense in its entirety that makes it all the more important that Alabama have a way to replicate that success. The good news for the Crimson Tide is they are not short on depth for the defensive line. So that's something we're going to have to look forward to. Anytime you have an individual post 53 tackles, nine sacks from the interior, it helps your whole defense. Your secondary reaps the benefits and even your edge rushers because now the offense knows they can't squeeze in the middle. There's a physical presence in the middle and now that quarterback can be taken down from everywhere along the line of scrimmage. Having that presence is going to be massive. So losing Federian Mathis and him going to the draft is going to be interesting to see how Alabama tries to mitigate that because even though there's a lot of depth Alabama can turn to, none of that depth was able to match the production that Federian and Mathis ended up putting up, and the closest was actually Byron Young in the tackle department. Fedarian Mathis posted 53 tackles, Byron Young posted 40, but the next closest was Tim Smith at 25. Then you had Justin Aboigby at 19, DJ Dale at 18, Stephon Wynn Jr. at 5, Jamil Burrow at 2, and Jamarian Latham at 1. In the sack department, there really isn't anybody who is particularly close to Fedarian Mathis and his nine sacks. The next closest was Byron Young and DJ Dale with two apiece. After that, you're looking at Jameel Burrow with one, and then Justin Aboigby and Tim Smith with half a sack each. So I'm not saying that you have to replicate nine sacks from the interior. Luckily for the Tide, not only is there a lot of depth in that defensive interior, but you also have two of the best edge rushers in the nation and probably the deepest edge rush room in the nation. But Dallas Turner and Will Anderson are going to get after the quarterback. So luckily you're not really hurting in the sack department, but you never argue with being able to pressure the quarterback from the interior. And Alabama had a stout run defense last season. That's something they're going to look to replicate to allow for those edges to be able to maximize their ability, for the linebackers to be able to maximize their ability. So being able to replace some of that production is huge. And in the intro, I asked if you thought Byron Young could be an individual, because when we watched last season, there were instances that Byron Young had some high level plays. So he's a name we need to keep an eye on. But like I keep saying, this room is not short on talent. Damon Payne Jr., a five-star out of last year's cycle who didn't see the field this year, could be an individual that gets a lot of reps during spring and into the fall camp. He's an individual I think a lot of eyes will be on, and anytime you have a five-star defensive lineman, or a five-star in general, that's obviously going to attract a lot of attention. So we need to see what he ends up being able to accomplish in his time with the Crimson Tide. You have Tim Smith, you have Byron Young, you have DJ Dale, so luckily in those names right there, you do have experience. The good news for the Crimson Tide is it's not like you're losing Fedarian Mathis, his production, and the experience, and now you're relying on a bunch of young guys. Luckily, you have DJ Dale, Tim Smith, Byron Young. DJ Dale and Tim Smith are two interesting names. Both names that many Tide fans have been expecting for them to take that next step and really make their presence known, something that hasn't completely come to fruition just yet. But what a better time to do it than this upcoming season with Fedarian Mathis departing to the NFL. Now the Crimson Tide going to be relying on Dale and Smith's veteran presence, but what a time to take that next step and show what type of talent we all know those two individuals have. 
But even outside of that, there's a lot of talent to be excited about. Braylon Ingram is a name we need to keep in mind. Jamarian Latham is a name we need to keep in mind. Monkel Goodwin. There are a ton of guys that could step up and that will surely be seeing more play this year in the rotation. And there are even some freshmen we need to keep in mind because the Crimson Tide pulled a really solid group on the defensive front in this past recruiting cycle. All three individuals rank inside the top 300 players in the nation in Curtis Perry, Jaheim Otis, and Isaiah Hastings. And Curtis Perry and Jaheim Otis both rank within the top 100 players in the nation. So the Crimson Tide are sitting in a situation where they have a lot of names on this list that are poised to take that next step, whether that's veteran guys such as Byron Young, DJ Dale, Tim Smith, Justin Boygby, who I think Tide fans are all waiting to see them take that next step in their production. But there's also young names that we need to be accounting for because those guys could easily boom. They certainly have the talent. So when we look at this holistic I'm not arguing that the Crimson Tide have to completely replace 53 tackles and 9 sacks out of one interior defensive lineman. That's not my contention. My contention is, though, that a presence such as Mathis affected the game in multiple ways for the Crimson Tide. And if you're able to replicate that, whoever it may be, that's just going to make everybody's job easier. The good news this year, though, is I think we could see a few guys take a step because it's going to be necessary. When we look at DJ Dale, Tim Smith, this is crunch time when it's coming to draft capital. This is the time to really go out there and show scouts your entire skill set and what you're capable of. We're going to be talking about all the position groups that lost production off of last season. I started with the defensive line because the loss of Fedarian Mathis is one that is intriguing to me. With DJ Dale, Tim Smith, Byron Young, Braylon, and Ingram and the likes. There's veteran presence in that room, but there's also a lot of young talent that we need to watch out for that could boom at the drop of a hat, whether that be the freshmen that are just coming in or some of the other names on this list we talked about. There are guys we have got to keep an eye on. And if you're asking me right now, okay, outside of the veteran guys, who are guys you are really interested in seeing? Well, to me, it's Jamarian Latham. That's a name that I'm really intrigued about, but also Jamil Burrow. I think those two guys right there could see an increased role and therefore increased production, but there are certainly no wrong answers. And with that, I'm very interested in hearing from y'all. So first and foremost, do you believe that Byron Young will see an increased role this season? And secondly, who do you believe is a name that could really step up for the Crimson Tide on that defensive interior? Can't wait to hear from y'all. That's it. See ya.